Hello, Collective. I hope everybody's doing good. Mama D. Mama D's Tarot. I'm going to get an overall general message. Just check in with the Collective. See how everybody's doing. Maybe give, well, definitely give the most important message. Because that's the only way I know. Open, honest, truthful. Roll with it, right? Anyways, I'm just working on building my channel, doing some work with myself, putting myself out there. Only 11 lights welcome. If you like my content, like, share, subscribe. Get some daily messages. I do try to post daily content, by the way. Giving these cards a good shuffle. This is um, Oracle Cards, Whispers of Laura Ganesha, Angela Hartfield. So we're just going to get an overall message and let me break into the tarot, see what it Confirmation story wants to come out. So, anyways, let's get it going. Be candid. Being candid. I'm going to read from the book. It's number seven. 25 breaking down to a seven. It is essential to express your truth even at the risk of standing out. No. Divine support came out with it. Definitely supported energy. Acceptance. Acceptance of where you are, the seeds you've planted, being more present. overall acceptance. There's an inner knowing. An inner knowing within ourselves. Just being silent, quiet, with your thoughts. Meditating. Just channeling, getting centered within oneself, knowing how to be quiet, accepting where you are, knowing no matter what, you absolutely have divine support. If you're being still and quiet and going within, the universe will show you love. They will show you the way. Absolutely. I love that. Let's pull some tray. Chrysalis desk. Deck. Sorry. All right. Divine support. Can you please tell us a little bit more? Angels, ancestors, guys. Divine. Do you have any additional messages that you would like to come forth for the collective today? Sorry, not sorry. Beautiful. Two cards out. I'm going to tilt this down just a little bit. Okay, first card out. Happiest card in the deck. The sun shining in a light within oneself. Happier times snowing. 
there's a good outcome. Like I was saying, if you go within, you accept where you are, call upon your higher self, the divine, your personal angels, ancestors, and guides. Think about what it is that you want to create. Change, you know, your thought patterns. You can be in your head, but don't let it consume you. Think of good things to grow and nurture. See this camel? I think it's out in the desolate. It's just dry. It's time to go within. It's time to go back to where home is. Home is centered within oneself. It reminds me of the heart chakra area. Just that feeling, that peace, inner knowing. I love it. Queen of Pentacles. Solid. Stable. What is she doing? Paint her future. She is actually creating the world that she wants to live in. Drawing a picture of, you know, what she wants her life to be. Is that feminine energy growing something? But stable in it. not to say that you won't have internal struggles. It's not to say that, you know, things aren't going to come your way. I feel like it's just knocking you on your ass. I'll say it. Knocking you on your ass. But I think the good thing about this is if you stay true to your course. You purge from within. Purge. Shine a light on all these different areas that need to be burned away. I mean, I can't put it any more simple than that. It's dark out there. Kind of reminds me of going within like dark night of the soul bit. Like finding what doesn't serve you anymore. Done. And then if you do that work, justice. Justice will be served. Balance. Reminds me of Mott, an Egyptian goddess, actually. She measured the worthiness of souls. It is believed that if your soul was lacking, it couldn't pass on to the next life. But if your soul was pure in heart, in nature, you would float and ascend. Maybe that's in the next life. This could be a spiritual awakening time for someone. Ascending to the next level. I've been there. How do you think I come to do in Tarot? I always had it within me. But I had to go within I had to get rid, I had to purge a lot of stuff that was just no longer to my highest good. Have you ever felt like that? Just an inner knowing like your soul is being pulled somewhere. Definitely what I went through. Absolutely. Page of Swords. Going then, looking, finding truth. It's like she's on a journey. Look at that. It'd be a tower moment for some. When I, you know. Well, you go within, you do the work, you find your sword of truth. To me, the message is like 
Be a dreamer. Paint your picture. Nine of Cups. Talk about movement, a love message, you know, coming, but also I'm feeling that it's offering your cup of love to yourself. Absolutely. And if you go within and do the work, strength, have strength. We got a six of cups. This is soulmate energy. If you do the work within, the universe is going to bring in somebody that matches your energy. You ever notice hurt people hurt people? Do you have you? I know I've heard somebody say, well, hell, they deserve each other talking about couples like. Well, of course, why? because you attract whatever it is that you put out. So, if you're lying, cheating, no good, whatever, guess what you're going to pair up with? Somebody who's no good, liar, cheater. Right? Okay. So, if you put out positive energy, you know, clear all those things that are negative within, fill it with Something that's good, positive, self-love. Guess what's going to happen? Somebody that meets your energy and that is high-vibing and has done just as much work as you have done. Burr, burr, burr. Here comes that soulmate. Meeting you on your level. High-vibing. I quit hanging out with people that wasn't high-vibing. You always have those people around. There's always something wrong. Like Drama. I mean, the phone was always ringing. Something was always happening. Like, you were chaos to be around. I like myself a little bit more. I ain't trying to be all hemmed up and all that. It's too much drama. I think I'll just go over here with my high-vibing people to where it ain't about all that. So, on that note, we should close out with a message from our angel track, our angel gang. See what the angels have to say, right? This is mess messages from your angels. You're known. Acceptance. It's all going to be okay. Message angels today. Thank you. The message is Isaiah. It is a good time to give birth to new ideas and new situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. Protected, remember? Always. This is Mama D's Tarot. I'm here to remind you to love yourself. Always love yourself first. Like, share, subscribe, share. All the above. Anyways, have a good day.